So what I believe a title can do is build a reciprocal relationship between you, the painter, the painting, and the viewer. Hey everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell. Welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. So today I want to talk about titling your work. It is an interesting topic to discuss and we actually discussed it a few days ago in the Q&A session that we offer in the Whole Artist Mastery community. So if you're wondering what that is, I invite you to go to the Whole Artist Mastery website to the community button at the top of the navigation bar and see what I'm talking about. It's a vibrant community of artists who are talking about all aspects of being an artist, all different um, pieces of what it means to be a whole artist, about your voice, about um, why you're making art, how you're making art, and what is it that you want your work to offer the world and to yourself, most importantly. And so titles are a huge part of, um, of weaving those various different pieces of who we are as artists together, how we think, how we feel, uh, how we make the art, and what kind of stories are we telling? Because I actually believe as visual artists, we are visual storytellers. And so do these stories need titles or is it best to leave them untitled so that the viewer on their own has an experience with the work without um, being guided by what the artist is intending for the painting? There are lots of different opinions about this and I'm going to share with you what my opinion is. So I actually believe that your feeling about titling your work grows out of your understanding of what your work is about. Why are you inspired by what you're inspired by? What's at the core of your expression? And how are you making that happen with paint or other mediums? And then what is it that you want your work to offer those who see it? So what I believe a title can do is build a reciprocal relationship between you, the painter, the painting, and the viewer. So a title is a way to consciously translate what your unconscious is saying or feeling, to have a conscious awareness, a verbal awareness, of what your intuitive unconscious voice, your visual voice, is trying to say. And so the painting is a representation. It's like we as artists have the capacity to tap into that intangible realm and bring that intangible realm into the tangible realm through our artwork, through the making and the existence of what we create. So the title is a way to um, both help that translation happen for ourselves as well as those who see the work. So what do I mean by that? For me, when I finish a painting, I sit with it a while. Sometimes I know right away what the story is in the painting. Sometimes I have this intuitive feeling, but the conscious awareness of it has yet to arrive. And so the longer I sit with the painting and take in the visual language, the line, color, shape, value, and texture, and tie that with my overarching um, why of what I'm trying to express. And I'll explain that in a minute. And I'm actually going to use the painting behind me to explain it. Um, the more I have an awareness consciously of what my unconscious voice is communicating, 
the more I'm able to be confident about my verbal translation of the intuitive um, expression. And so within myself and within you, in your own experience, there, that helps to build a reciprocal relationship between your conscious awareness and your unconscious voice so that you have this whole experience of understanding why you're doing what you're doing and what a painting is about. It also helps you build a reciprocal relationship with those who see your work. So there are many people who, particularly in the realm of abstraction, who misunderstand or find it really difficult to understand um, what a painting is about. Now, I realize that by using the word misunderstand, you know, that's a very subjective um, way of uh, explaining what I'm talking about. And art is very subjective. There are many people who say, I don't understand abstract art. And I've had a lot of people say to me, I don't understand abstract art, but I like your work. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. So I think to some degree, the title helps them lead into the meaning of the piece that they may otherwise find a hard time relating to. Um, for realistic work, sometimes a title can be very abstract, attached to something that's a very realistic scene that helps you understand the poetry, the deeper meaning, the more emotional meaning, um, the conceptual meaning behind something that you can visually understand as you're looking at it. Now with this painting behind me, the title is Coalescence. And it actually took me a long time to arrive at that title, and here's why. So most of, um, most of the work that I've made over the last 40 years, all of the work really, has come out of this fundamental desire within me to create harmony through opposing elements coming together. I'm fascinated by what you might say is complementarity, <laughs> where the complementing opposing elements create a complementary harmonious experience, both through emotional expression, intellectual thought, and physical existence. So, there have been lots of different ways that I've done that and I will at some point do a retrospective of my voice uh, that dates all the way back to 1981. But for today, um, I'll tell you that this painting was, was really um, born out of my current interest in how the world that we know as human beings um, pairs with the world beyond what we are unaware of as human beings. So how does the tangible world coexist with the intangible world? How do we have an awareness, a knowingness that lives side by side with our unknowingness or the unknown? How do the unknown and the known live together? And what's the space that connects them? Is there a space that's in between these two opposing worlds or are they right up close together, um, juxtaposed without any seam between them? And so in this particular painting, when I reached the finish, uh, when, I, when it got to a point where I felt like it was finished, and again, there are other videos that I've offered about how do you know when a painting is finished. Uh, but when I reached that place of knowing that this was there, I had to wait a little while for um, my intuitive understanding of what this piece was about because I had a very strong intuitive understanding of what this piece was about. But I wanted to have that inform the words that I would use to explain what this piece is about 
in a verbal sense, in a literal sense. Once again, it's that reciprocal relationship between conscious awareness translating the unconscious experience. So I like to attach one or two words, sometimes three words to a painting because it's an interesting uh, experience for me to take the more complex ideas and um, synthesize them into one whole concept, one word. And so I took long walks and words were floating around in my mind and I'd come back to my best friend at that time, the thesaurus, and try and figure out, you know, is this the right word? And somewhere along the line, I think it was on a walk, the word coalescence came to mind because I really wanted this painting to speak about how the opposing worlds of here and there, both in our global society as human beings, what we know as here and what people know as here for them, but it's there for us. You know, the disparate, the disparity um, between different ways that people live and how they can coalesce together to create harmony. So there's that aspect to it, but there's also the aspect of the world here and the world there and how do you tell the difference and for me you know there's very definitely two different worlds here but which one is which they they coalesce so that it's really hard to pull them apart so i feel like i hit upon the perfect title for this painting but somebody i'm working with a mentorship artist that i'm working with currently in a, whole artist mastery mentorship program she's an abstract artist and she's a practicing professional artist and she um, she really paints abstract landscapes and she lives in a part of the world where people are much more uh, oriented towards realism than they are abstraction so she's been finding it difficult to title her paintings so that people can have a connection with them and I suggested that, well, maybe instead of coming up with one or two words that may feel shallow to you about this experience, that you start the title as though you're starting a story, you know. Um, the morning I took a long walk and the wind was really blowing or something like that, you know. Uh, it, it was just before the sun came up that I felt uh, um, this incredible feeling. And it's almost like, you know, the, the group storytelling experience where one person starts with a sentence and then the next person picks up on that and adds their uh, sentence to it and then the next person and the next person. So after 10 people have uh, put their uh, addition to the story that was uh, started by the first person, you have a whole story. So in a way, I was suggesting that she use her verbal titles to help people build their own story onto her story that she started them to, to have a um, connection with the piece. And it's working. <laughs> so it's very exciting when people feel like they understand your work both from a visual intuitive emotional place as well as a conscious concrete um, intellectual experience of your work now i should say that many artists believe the complete opposite is true many people choose to put untitled with their work because they feel like a title gets in the way of you or us, the viewers of a painting or another sculpture, any kind of artwork. Um, it gets in the way of the viewer's own interpretation of what the work is about. Rothko is, um, is very famous for ending his um, titling of his work because he felt like it was getting in the way of viewers having their own experience and going deeper and deeper within. Um, so 
I invite you to think about this for yourself. Are you someone who feels like a title is really important for you to help translate both for yourself from uh, an unconscious intuitive place to a conscious awareness of what you're doing and also to help open the door for those who look at the work to understand what you're trying to say in the work? Or do you feel very strongly that a title gets in the way of the experience you want people to have uh, in looking at your work? Think about that. And if you feel like a title is necessary, then give yourself time to allow the painting to tell you what the title is. Sometimes it happens very quickly and other times it takes, it takes a longer time. So I hope this was helpful in answering some of your questions about why and how to title a work of art. And I'd love to hear your comments below as always. And I invite you again to check out the whole Artist Mastery community. We have many discussions like this in the community and it will only enrich your experience as an artist and your whole artist practice immensely. I'll see you next time.